In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make three rectangular pricing options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added a three glass effect uh, options uh, with the first option saying starting with $20 and then you can add the details like a single user online support, 10 GB data and no updates. And for the other one, I have just put the standard which is $40 and extended $50 and at the bottom i have given the shadow effect and when i click it will uh, come the button will pop up which says buy now so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to dark gray gradient fill then go to insert shapes from rectangle select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size you can see here then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to fill this with white color then i'm going to make it more transparent to make it more transparent right mouse click go to format shape and increase the transparency level you can see here maybe you can put it maybe say 65 percent then i'm going to just duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate this and then i'm going to select shape outline let me just select black and the weight i'm going to make it maybe say two quarters and shape fill make it no fill now to look like a glass effect i'm going to use the gradient fill for this so under fill go to line you can see here and select the gradient fill so by default you've got a four uh, this one the stops so what I'm going to do, you can see here, I'm just going to select this. Let me just select the first stop. I'm going to change the color to white. Then I'm going to select the second one. Maybe I can use the eyedropper to select this color or I can even select white also and increase the transparency also. I can do both ways. And this also, again, I'm going to make it a white color and this again i'm going to make it white but increase the transparency level so it looks something like this you can see here if you want you can just change the direction also you can just change the direction from here which is the angle here okay so now let me just put it here exactly on top of this one so you can see here it gives the look of a glass and if you want you can make this more transparent also something like this and once this is done let me just first i'll give some different angle to it you can see here so it looks something like this and then i'm going to add one more rectangle before that one i'm going to add one kind of a shadow effect there press ctrl d of this one then i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to select one more rectangle or i can just simply select this press ctrl d also rotate it and the one which is is visible only that only i'm going to keep it the other one i'm going to delete it the one which is highlighted here you can see here so i'm going to select this hold the shift key select the other rectangle under format merge shape you can just say intersect you can see here and if you want you can just increase the transparency reduce the transparency and put it here okay and this line you can always bring to front okay so if you want you can make it more also so it, it gives you this kind of uh, effect and then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle exactly at the top here shape outline make it no outline and shape will make it complete black now i'm going to add the text on this black rectangle go to insert text box maybe i'm going to just say basic you can see here center align make it white font and i'm going to change the font to century gothic make it bold increase the size and you can change some other color also maybe uh, orange color and then i'm just going to put it exactly on top of this and you can see here this one i'm going to bring this to front so it looks on top of this also and then to add uh, the detailed text either you can add a normal table or you can add just text only so before that one let me just add some 
pricing for example this is ten dollars so again this one i will make it white bold center align century gothic increase the size you can see here i can just increase the size maybe this is too big let me just put it this much you can see here and then i can put some dollar sign here now i'm going to add the dollar sign so let me just select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to just enter the dollar sign here and then reduce the size you can see here and put it next to the 10 and then i'm going to add a table go to insert tables maybe i want only one two three four or five rows okay you can see here and then i'm going to just reduce the size so that it comes here something like this and this you can see here there's banded rows untick header row untick and then i'm going to change the color of the lines for that before that let me just shading i will make it no fill so you can see here it looks something like this even if it is white is not available then you have to select which line and then you can change the pen color you can see here to white and i'm going to make it no border and then i'm going to select only the one which is this one inside horizontal bar only so you can see here you got only the the lines which are inside here okay and then you can add one more rectangle in the bottom for example buy now or uh, apply now whatever so first of all let me just go to shapes select the rectangle draw a small rectangle you can see here maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give the same color here which i have used for the basic and then you can add a small text where you can say apply now or buy now whatever let me just put buy now center align white century gothic reduce the size you can see here and then just add it on top of this button so if you want we can just uh, add the images uh, which is required for this uh, pricing table in that case you can go to insert icons and you can just select the icons uh, required for you on this this one so let me just uh, add some so you can see a lot of icons are available here so whichever icon which you feel better you can just select those one so example i want to just select uh, maybe uh one this one and i'm going down and i'm going to select few more two or three more so let me just select whichever maybe uh one this one one is this and i can just go down and maybe i can just select one for this so let it be like this and just say insert bring it aside and then i'm going to make it white and the height and width i'm going to make it as 0.3 you can see here so i'm just going to add here maybe this is for the number of users this is for the some data this is some other plan you can see here and this is something location or whatever so any icon whichever then you can just select these icons go to format align you can just say align center also so it properly aligned and then you can add your detailed text here one by one just your first text or first line you can see here let me just make it a white again century gothic reduce the size and just put it next to the icon you can see here press ctrl d so this one comes here and make sure that this is all properly aligned so with this we can see our design is ready and if you want you can just go to insert shapes and select oval shape at the bottom here shape outline make it no outline shape fill maybe you can give a black color 
and you can go to the effects soft edges you can increase the size something like this to give the shadow effect you can see here then it's very easy let me just move this one here press ctrl d to duplicate put one more here or one more and then i'm just going to change this one so for example i'm going to say let me just send this to back so that i can change the text i can just say that for example silver you can see here again change the color according to the requirement and maybe this is gold let me just send this to back also this is a, a gold so gold you can just go to shape fill more fill colors you can just go to the custom and whichever color of the gold you can just select like this sorry i want to just change the text only for this yeah and then you can just give the same color here also for this also i'm going to select gold and this one will be a silver one this will be a silver color and you can change the price maybe this is twenty dollars per month and this is a thirty dollars per month so with this we have completed the design you can just put it at the proper place that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye